First Alert Forecast with meteorologist Jan Reihert. Well, as we head through the afternoon here, we have uh, blue skies overhead now. We'll start to see a few more clouds already. A few of those starting to dot the sky. Some of those high-level cirrus clouds in Iowa City. But we are going to keep a very nice day going through the rest of the afternoon. It's going to still be, though, within the next 24 hours that we do have rain chances heading our way. So that is highlighted on your first alert. Those will arrive later on tonight and into tomorrow morning. Again, today through midnight, we are looking good. Air quality is also highlighted here on your first alert, similar to yesterday, some slight reduction in air quality in places. Most of us though uh, are in good shape. Let's take a closer look at that here. Our air quality map has yellows and greens on it. Those green, again, we're in a good spot. Moderate is where a few people could have some uh, uh, side effects, those unusually sensitive, um, but Again, that's going to be a very, very small percentage. It's still the next category up, which we're not in, that uh, people with heart disease or lung disease are going to be more concerned. So again, a very small portion of people need to be uh, concerned about that but it is still something that we want you to know about. As we head through the rest of the day today and into the rest of the week, smoke continues to thin out more, shouldn't be a problem after today. Here's our setup for today. Low pressure over the Dakotas, a warm front and trailing cold front will push our way as we head through the night tonight. That is where those rain chances will start to set up for us here. You'll see those on Pinpoint Futurecast, but dry for the rest of the day today, clouding up through the evening hours, rain chances holding off until after midnight, making their way into Eastern Iowa. Iowa in the early hours of our Thursday. Now could see a few rumbles of thunder with those, but we're not expecting any severe weather and we'll see additional areas of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Not going to be a all day rain, but rain chances are with us all throughout the day. So again, we're on and off showers uh, scattered around in nature, becoming a little bit more widespread there during the evening hours before clearing out in the late evening time frame. Rainfall totals with this batch are going to be pretty light. We're talking a couple hundredths to a couple tenths of an inch of rain and uh, winds are going to stay very light as well, both today and for the next several days. It's going to be Saturday before we see those picking back up into that 20 or 25 mile per hour range. And even then, uh, still not too bad for us. We're really just uh, stringing together several pretty nice ones. Here's our zone cast for today. 73 in Harper's Ferry, 72 in Dubuque, and 76 in Hopkinton. Our northwestern zone climbs to 74 in Shell Rock, 73 in Fairbank and Fayette. In our central zone, 75 for Cedar Rapids, Center Point, Dysart, and in Blairstown as well. And in our southern zone, 74 for Wetcher, Kyoto, and in Kelowna. Tonight, temperatures dip down into the upper 50s. As we head through the next several days, we'll climb those temperatures a little bit more. Look for upper 70s there by the end of the the week and low 80s as we head through the upcoming weekend. Again, there are some rain chances there. Very slim chance as we head into Friday. It's not looking very promising, even less promising than tomorrow. And you saw how scattered those ones tomorrow are. That's kind of how the other chances are through the, the forecast. So there is some rain coming, but not total washout. Still plenty of time to get outside. And today's a great one for that. Yeah, especially today. It looks beautiful out there. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm uh, hoping to get out for a walk this afternoon. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Thanks, Jan.